My name is Philipp Sonnetner. I'm a senior research scientist at the Luxembourg Center for Educational Testing. I'm pretty happy to call it my, my work home, uh, my research home, because we are conducting the, the National School Monitoring Program, so we are testing each and every student how well they are capable of uh, reading, do math and so on. And yeah, basically whenever a student opens a test booklet and starts responding to the tasks, my research starts. My research is, well, it focuses on the assessment process. Um, assessment per se is a pretty central component of each educational system. And in my research, I strive to optimize the assessment process and to maximize the information we get out of each student response to our test tasks. We are doing this by using templates, more or less, that are based on cognitive psychology, on research. And by using these templates, we can generate lots of test tasks automatically and at the same time also learn more about the students by looking at their responses. In the research, more or less, we study components of certain test tasks. We study if they are fair for certain subgroups, if there are differences between girls and boys, for example, and also to use the information from the templates in the back to give more nuanced feedback. Lately, it was possible to really track the number development of Luxembourgish students through all grades. And this is information that was not available before. So this was already a bit of a success in the project. We learn more about what the students can do and where their weaknesses are. Because if we would know this, there might be better interventions or we would learn how to better help them in order to achieve their goals, their learning goals. And this is information basically that is important for the teachers, for the parents, for policymakers, but also for the students themselves to know their own weaknesses and strengths.